What's up, what's up, Shreveful people? Today, we got a viewer complaint. That's right, we're gonna make sailboats. But before we do that, story time. Rewind, Eastwood Lake, 20 years ago. <laughs> Me and my brother had just conned our dad into whittling some two by fours into some rudimentary sailboats. These were simple blocks of wood with a wedge shape and chopsticks for a mast with some napkins for sails. They were honestly kind of trash, but eight-year-old me thought they were super dank. I've always been fascinated with boats in general, but sailboats have always confused me. Like, how do they sail up wind? And curious me and my little bruh were about to screw around like any child would. So we threw our boats in the lake, and eventually the wind started pulling mine away. I panicked and tried to scoop water in its direction to bring it back, but nah, the wind was pushing it further and further away. I saw my brother still had his boat, and I told him we should race. He was like, Nah, bruh, yours is drifting out and is going to get lost. But before he could say no, I yeeted his boat out into open water. He was kind of pissed and we both lost our boats. And I'm still not sure why I did it, but younger me did lots of stupid things. Like tricking our sponsor into making their product into a sailboat. End story time. <laughs> what are those? But these are Vessies, the sponsor for this video. Vessies are completely waterproof sneakers. They actually make really good boats, by the way. Oh my god! <laughs> so we got these shoes a couple months ago, and they've been pretty awesome. They're super lightweight and easy to slip on and off. Which is great, because we're pretty lazy. We've been out in the water tons of times shooting these videos for the last couple months, and we really like how they let water out, but not in. They have a really unique texture and grip on the bottom, which makes them great for hiking. I like wearing them walking my dog because at the dog park, if I step in a little something something, I can wash them right off. And my dog likes wearing them too. <laughs> so we really like these shoes. They have a 60 day return policy where you can just return or exchange your shoes for something different if it doesn't quite suit you. And also a six month manufacturer warranty. So use code shoe sale for a discount and get some Vessies for yourself. We got them boys. What a good shoe. So there I was at my local hobby shop. So I found this sailboat and it was on sale. So I bought that sailboat because one, I remembered I had that repressed childhood memory of me not knowing anything about sailboats and two, it was pretty much half off. So it's time to learn about sailboats. So we headed out to the lake. To sail requires a great degree of nautical understanding, skill, determination, and money. We had none of that stuff. <laughs> so I think I have a good idea of how silver works now, but it's time to redeem myself. This is a 2x4. I'm gonna go find Sam. Camera's rolling. Select a 2x4. Can we use a whole 8 foot section? You can do whatever you want. Alright, I'm gonna grab a piece of wood and I'm gonna start working. Can I just screw my cut up 2x4 together and put a sheet of plastic? No, that's cheating. So the ground rules for this, you just gotta make it look like a 2x4. So take the 2x4, it can be any length you want, and turn it into a silver. So I could take that. something to the 2x4. You can take something to the 4 I will allow it. Okay. Let's make this thing a little bit more hydrodynamic. I'm gonna shave down the sides. And we're gonna reduce hull weight by hollowing it out. I'm gonna go replace the false bottom with some plywood. Time to glue that on, sand it flush, make it look clean. All right, time to drill holes for the mast. Let's go do that. Put that in the drill press. Yeah, blow that dirt off. All right, time for the mast. Those are actually carbon fiber arrow shafts. It's extremely lightweight and works really well for this task. Looks pretty dope. Thin urethane, boys. The urethane is gonna help us build up speed in the water by helping me keep the wood from ingesting all the water and getting fat. Actually, it'll just make my cell last longer. All right, boys, it's time to cat. So we got this cat design up. I'm gonna make it for the keel of my cell boat, but before we go any further. It's a taxidermy mouse. Y'all seen the movie Stuart Little, right? All right, all right, I have an idea. When Sam gets in, I'm gonna like put this noose around this mouse. I'm gonna put it in the corner. You sure this is gonna float? No, it probably won't. You've got a hole like two by four here. Yeah, a hole two by four. Hole. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you glitched a little bit. <laughs> it's a taxidermy mice. I got them for a boat. Here. Here you go. Hold your All hand. right, touch me. Back to the mass. Now we're gonna make some of the hardware. We're bending some of this piano wire and putting some super glue on it, sliding to the carbon shafts. This allows the sills to pivot to catch wind. Now we're gonna put on these 3D printed parts that kind of hold the uh, the masts to the sails. The sails we're cutting out are ripstop nylon, and we're gonna use some of this aircraft grade wire to make our kind of like sail lashings to kind of hold these onto the boat. Make sure you poke it through ripstop nylon 
Uh, also, make sure it's ripstop nylon because this won't work with plastic. It'll rip out. So, anyways, tight at the top. That's looking pretty good. All right, so this pivot's all right. Now I'm gonna do the hardware here. Oh yeah, just put these little eyelets in there. That looks pretty dope. Run this to the string through the boat, and now it's time to work on the rudder. The rudder's made out of some brass sheet in this case, and I'm just gonna solder to it. Now hop out of servo. <coughs> All right, now it's time to install the servo. Here's thanks to Flight Test for hooking me up with these sweet new servos that they now distribute. Drill out the pocket for the servo, install the servo, put the uh, servo on the boat. I'm gonna test a little bit, yep, and the sails function and close. Now add some lead shot to the ballast bulb. This keeps the boat from flipping over when it's in the water, and when the wind blows on it. I'm gonna use some epoxy on the bottom to stick that down there. All right, I think we're done. It's got all these sails and stuff. So let's go try it out. Is Sam, are you done with your boat yet? Oh, my boat is done. We are out at the lake and it is time to try the boat. It floats. All right, so mine's ready for tomorrow. Sam? I don't even know if this is deep enough. <laughs> it's deep enough. Oh no. Is it not a way? Oh, it is. <laughs> We're just gets out there and you can't get it in. <laughs> we wait for it to go to the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the first, the first, first annual, annual boat, boat race. race. In, in this, this corner, corner, we have, have Blow, Blow Me 2, a 36 inch schooner. schooner. And in that corner, we have uh, eight. What's it called? Because two by four is eight. A sloop boat. And in that corner we have a factory bought boat. And in that corner we have a log. On your marks. Get set. Get it on. Are you ready to set sail? I am. While Sam wasn't looking, I crashed the factory built Silvo into his boat. Now he's going in the wrong direction, and I have a shot at winning this. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, the official victor of the uh, endurance race challenge, Sam Fosco. Yeah. All right, on to the maneuverability portion of this test. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now day two of the annual boat regatta. Today's competition: racing around fixed points. First, I'm gonna make five laps around that point, and that point is the victory. Is the vic, vic It's today's victor. Victory Royale. Okay, give me my AirPods. All right, here you go. Now comes the point where we have to try to sail upwind, and my boat is severely struggling at this task. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that the wind is too windy today for these sailboats. Sam is, uh, I don't know what he's doing, but mine is, is, is not doing super hot right now. It's way too much wind and it's like constantly tipping over. I would be amazed if you could make it on just one of these buoys. Alright, 
boys. Hey, Sam, you lost. I made a left round there, ready? I think that's a tie. Yeah, he won the distance race. He went the distance, his boat reached shore, so he won that segment. However, oh. <laughs> Whatever, okay, it's broken now. Anyways, mine won maneuverability. I was able to navigate and make one pass around the entire loop and come back while he was over there crashing into the other side of the docks. So we'll leave that up to the audience. Which boat do you like the best? Do you like the schooner or do you like the sloop? If you guys want to build a sailboat, key things to take away from this, make it about a meter tall because this mass is a little bit too short in my opinion. Make a hydrodynamically shaped hull because the lessons I learned from the factory sailboat are it's very efficient in the water, it has a lot of energy, because the number one problem with this boat is it can't sail upwind. Every time I try to turn upwind, it loses energy, and the wind pushes it back downwind, and I can only make an upwind turn by doing this weird 360 maneuver and then going upwind. I only had time to get one award made, so I made another one just now. You get this one. Burn the trophy. And I get the big one. So you end the video. Make sure you use code shoe sale and check out these besties. That's that's literally it now. You can literally go away and leave. <laughs> it's a shoe.